Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our legendary Pentathelia campaign as we pick up for episode 2 from turn 4. So last time we just got the ball rolling and we have a second horde army now that I'm trying to nurse into this recruitment center. And I can probably take a look at our warlord character. This is our mentor general. And if we take a look at her skill tree in particular, this is what I'm most interested in. I want to know if she can help us increase rank. Okay, if she does have drill expert, that's only one part of the equation. There's another part. Okay, she can increase horde growth. So these are quite different from the traditional mentor characters because of the fact that we are part of the horde. Increase to replenishment rate. That's obviously great. This one. This is what I'm looking for. Prayer to Apollo experience. So once we get to rank 7 on her, we can unlock this. And then all her armies in terms of missile units. So I guess our javelin unit, which is kind of one of our main features actually, surprisingly. Even though we do feature a lot of cavalry and straight up charging axe units. We'll gain additional experience per turn passively. And this way we can probably just build her this way. We can go drill expert into the missile drill expert for plus two ranks to all range units and then over here to increase their experience farther. Now is there any other useful ones? Recruitment capacity, that's nice. Especially since we're using her as a recruitment character in general. Reduce the upkeep of those. Oh, this is archer unit though. We're not really going to train many archers. That would be great if you're playing a Hippolyta campaign, but we're not. Okay, so that's good to know. Uh, we did recruit the right one, at least. Um, for missile units. It would have been better if we got something for two-handed units, but I don't know if that actually exists. Um, if... It does, it probably would be a fighter class in my opinion. Maybe we'll try that next. Uh, but we do have this set up for that purpose. So I guess in the future when we're recruiting here, I mean these were gonna dump over right away. So I think we just go well and good. normal stance and we just send them. On the road. And that way they can have a full army soon. And that's kind of the purpose here. We still Glory have plenty of movement. Amazon. And we kind of can pick which way we want to go now, now that we have destroyed this settlement. So we were originally thinking about this bronze, but I thought about it. We don't really need bronze. None of our units, I mean we have a few units that needs it, but like 33 right now. Mainly our second tier units, I believe. I don't know if it's our cavalry. Nope. Not our cavalry. This must be one of our axe units. Yep. So the Labra uh, Axe unit uses 33 bronze. Our cavalry actually doesn't use any bronze. So I don't think we're going to need any bronze. So that feels like a waste of our time. Rather, since our time is limited by how much food we're depleting. But I think rather we head over here and get more food. Of course that means we have to start another war. But I think that's fine. We're going to be at war with pretty much all the factions. We're giving up that Apollo bonus, and there are Harpies here. Now, Harpies are nice. I mean, Sirens are nice too, but I don't think they're that nice. Um, they're not that good that we have to go all the way over here to get that without knowing what's down here. I guess we could check through this. Okay, so we located another food one over here. But I think that might convince us to go here a bit more. We take this. It's also an easy settlement to take since it's a minor settlement, not a capital. And then over here we can get Battle Glory. So we're going to take our main army. I'll see to it. We're going to go... Uh, it takes a lot of movement it seems. We can go slow but then it's going to waste time. We can go fast and then it's going to cause other issues like we can't raid. If we can get 50% then we can raid. Advance, sisters. Right, we're gonna end ourselves in raiding stance that will generate wood. Oh, because we're in the wood province. That makes a lot of sense. Can we My raid on Right, there's no income because there's no actual commander here. So I see. 
Well, we are still going to raid. If it's wood, we'll get 261 wood. Their treasures are ours. We can't recruit. Doomed. So we're going to have her army Moving come behind. Out. And we're going to recruit for our main army. Right? We can auto end on the stance if we just recruit. We need two more units. Um, What do we want, actually? I fear we have nothing. plenty of spears to die. She's going to just die off. So at this point, I think either we get some... I don't know if I want more Axe unit for Warband. Like, Warband into Labyrinth is going to cost us Bronze, and then this is going to cost us Bronze. Everything else seems to be straight up food. Okay, there's Bronze if we go the Skirmishers on Mount. But I don't think we're going that route. Hold on, these are just hovering like crazy. I wanted to go here. There we go. 50 for the Javelin Chariot. I think we just go up this way. Get these. These are good. So I think we just get a few more Javelin. Assuming we're not skewing our army too much into Javelins. Hmm. I think you'll be okay. Them. Without fail. All right, perfect. That's a good setup, in my opinion. We need to raise two cities, which will naturally occur. Decree, building, upgrade, horde army. This is what? Upgrade the main building, and this is any building. Okay, so we can do the same building together. Pain drives me. For her. Well, apparently the more buildings you have, the more growth you need. So this building is causing the other, all the other buildings you have 5 growth, whereas this one, we, we see that it only takes us about 3 growth if that's our first building. And our current growth is just really low, so we might actually go this, but it's going to cost us a bunch of food, which is also a different, like a difficult situation for us. This might be the first thing we build. It satisfied both mission completions and it's not bad. Increase 100 experience for all units per turn. So we do get passive experience from the actual horde tent. Okay, that's good to know. Um, I think that's all we can do though. We're, we're pretty good. It's gonna be a slow start as we move around. He's still recruiting. He's not gonna come out at us. A father's father's wishes. Early this morning, a great sign manifested itself. A flock of unknown birds darkened the sky and flew past the Amazon armies. It was evident that Father Ares directs his children to some purpose, undoubtedly a glorious destination. Okay, horse. Oh, so we get extra campaign movement range. Lovely. Just a bonus from Ares. Swell our ranks. Start a turn with 20 units in a single army. We'll get that next turn. Get us some nice rewards here because we have this. I live for the fight. This, this recruitment center. Indeed. On the move. And we're done. Sisters. All right. We so we no want man. to keep 50% as well here. We're going to go a little bit to the south to protect ourselves from that. And this army can raid for some wood. Now, the how much we generate depends on how strong the army is, so that way we're not getting too much there. Understood. I don't want to move too far, actually. Wait, how come we have only 2%? Because we switch out of raid? There's a cost to switch out of raid? On the move. Okay. We could march and go farther, but we need to protect that army. We have how much population right now? Three. We don't have enough stone or wood, or else we could upgrade this. All right. Guess we're just restricted by this mechanic right now. We're gonna get that bonus, which will give us what? Food, uh, okay, unit based ones. Our battle glory. 
Oh, it's going down by 30 a turn. Is it? Because we had 100. And we didn't encamp. And the encamp pretty much protects it. us from losing it, I guess. Because we're not raiding this turn. We'll do that. Daughters of this is ready at zero. But I know the total accumulation, right? We have gained 250 already. We can spend these resources here once we have 500 to unlock the next tier and we'll get better unit here. So basically it's two different folds. The total amount you have is used to unlock milestones. You don't actually spend it. You just have to reach that threshold and then you get a better unit. And then you can spend the amount you have in your army by clicking this button and you get two turns of X amount of that unit depending on how high your current battle glory is. So there's two layers to this, current and total. Um, we'll figure this out as we go on. I don't think he'll come mess with us even with 12 men. So let's continue here. All right, we got this mission done. Trojan host gathering. Okay, so this is supporting the Trojans, increase our diplomatic relations with them. I think, yeah, I don't want to fight Hector and them, at least not anytime soon. So we will be on their side. I don't mind fighting the Kians. All right, we have four population. That means we can build something like a temple, but I don't want a priestess first. I really want a spy first, so we're going to wait for that. This oh, army will yes. move first. I guess we learned a lesson. Don't take it off raid or else you lose campaign movement because you will burn through some of your stances. Yeah, let's go here. We're going. Are we going to stay on raid or is it just going to use it up? Yeah, it feels like we're still on raid. We're getting some food, getting some wood. And for her... Acceptable. We also want to raid. Heading out. And the only thing we're afraid of is the army hiding in the dark, coming out to hit her. Yeah, but we want this. That's soils. a lot of wood. Yeah, we gotta save up. Bronze and wood. We have enough. Food is dying here as we filled up our ranks, but it's okay. Our goal is to get this big bounty of food, which will last us a bunch of turns. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Let's continue. All right, we have a barter offer to ask our gold. No, 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 not a deal. All right, they have wisely declared war on us. Uh, the Bithenes. I guess they're kind of related. They're the Thenes. These are the Bithenes. No problem. We're going to continue to raid. I think we'll stay in this side here. Continue to pick up some resources. This one's very easy to take. I wonder what we get once we step over. We're off now. About the same ratio. I'm not going to recruit any more army with this. Uh, because we can't really afford the food. We should be able to attack next turn, which would be great. And that's it. Another peace offer. So this is what I like to see, right? This is a faction at Hell's Point. They're willing to pay us for a peace. We can always declare war on them again. Very easily. We, we will take some time going through this area. I want to counter offer real quick. Because I might not want food. I might want some stone. He only has a hundred stone though, so I don't know how much we can. Alright, we can get all of these. We can get all hundred his stone. I don't really care about bronze. Does he care about his gold? He does care about his gold. Yeah, who doesn't care about their gold? What about 250? Hmm. 100 is rather tame. 150. I'm trying to secure resources that I can't get rapidly from the war ahead. Is it, a matter of fact, like 90 close? Wow, it's actually 90. Okay, I'm I'm okay with that. My other question is like, Instead of 90 here, can I get like another 50 wood? Because if that's the case, I'd rather get another 50 wood. 
another seven twenty-five wood. Okay, we can get. Okay, so if that's the case, um, maybe twenty. I'm pushing it, fifteen. All right, I'm gonna do this. A little off, but whatever. Yeah, of course we sign peace deal at this point. Perfect. Another faction asking us for our gold. Definitely no. Alright, we have another faction going to war with us. That's okay. Man killer. We are going to switch off so we're not tired. And we're going to go wipe them out. They did move an army in, so it's an archer general. That means they'll have two generals here. It's a pretty standard sized garrison as far as I can tell. It's not the extra one with the actual garrison protection building. They don't have it here. We should be able to handle it, no problem. Almost everyone's full healed. Let's go fight this, assuming... Right, assuming nothing's really going on. Hungry for glory. Massacre them. Right, we're not gonna delegate. Pretty, I don't think we're delegating any fight in this campaign. We gotta like babysit our units. They do have some scary units. Actually, that's not that scary. Okay, most of these are really bad units. They just have a lot of units. I mean, we technically have a lot of units too. Two archer generals. Interesting. The garrison's a scary group. Yeah. Okay, we should be fine. Um, I think it's open field. It's it's. Yeah. Uh Okay, I don't call that open field, but sure. Let's fight. All right, perfect dry day. We finally have a normal weather day. Let's go. And I think I want to just push our range advantage here since they are narrow chokes. I don't know how much flanking I want to do. I want them to be focused on this side. And if we are going to send any flankers, they're going to go through this back side here. And we can always send a cavalry to take the center. Um, I think that's always a very viable strategy here. So... Oh, we could... We could force them to defend on this side if if they deploy after us. I don't know if they will. They could just very well ignore the fact that we're here and still defend this side. Because I kind of want to try this. It's hidden. Right, it's hidden. Good. So then we can like sneak in and just take the center. And then they have to all pull back and then we have a shot at like really messing up their lines. These have how much range block chance? 35. Not the greatest, but with our overwhelming firepower here, we can even add this one in. We'll call them one. These are two. Technically, these are flanking units too. If our strategy here doesn't work, we can send them here and then just send the range over there to overpower them. This is our sacrificial pawn. These we have to babysit a little bit more. Alright, we did it. Okay, so they did keep one unit in the back here. Question is, can we kill these? I think so. We might we should have hit a little bit more unit on that side, but this is fine. The enemy has some slingers here. Those outrange us. These outrange us. Okay. I'm gonna move them up. These have no shield. These have no. Sh uh, they do have a shield. Twenty percent though. That's basically no shield. Forty. Oh, these have no shield. Okay. We're going to try to overpower them. Keep this in the front of them. Alright, they're pulling a lot of units back as they see this guy. 
I don't even want to actually commit in case they do all come. We'll add some pressure over there. They're moving out. That's a big mistake. We can bypass them. We gotta micro a little bit. Alright, pull them back. We don't want a melee battle here. Keep going. Can we charge through? Yeah, I don't actually want to fight them. I just want to charge through them. Because the best thing we can do is scare them to retreat back. Yep. That's a big opening for us. Let's give them some speed. Alright, we have routed both of them. Take them, chase them, move in. You will soon hold the enemy's victory point. Axe on general, axe on general, sword on this. We're also flooding in here. I will kill that one guy. Alright, see now we're just scaring all of them back. And we're gonna just charge out again. We'll kill as many as we can, but we don't want to stall here. So we're just here to distract. Boost attack. They're getting stuck on these units. Just the other axe. We murder them. Oh, they have turned over here. Oh, we didn't charge out. Can we not kill this one guy? Your warriors are losing heart. Come on. Start going in. Ignore these guys. Alright, we're just gonna throw a couple of chargers who are just very vulnerable to range over here. Your hero is under attack. He should be. Alright. You guys go at this. Generals are routing. Perfect. Yeah, you chase this, finish them off, finish him off, finish him off, keep moving. Charge! They're trying to hit us with the javelin. We can easily crush the slinger. That's their longest range unit left. Ready your you guys keep coming. All right, their morale's gone. Now you guys keep moving on ahead. Actually, general, come with us. Uh, the two chargers, however, can go finish them up. Where's the other one? Oh, there we go. Chase. Go, go, go. This is on the 
I'm gonna move to this side. Hmm. Militia Warband. Do they have bonus against large? Yeah, they do. I assume that's bonus against large. Yep. And we move to this side. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go here. Not enough room for them, but we'll get there. Kill whatever we can first. Victory is close enough to taste. Finish him. Increase attack. Some of the charges gonna die, and that's okay. Oh. A very wise enemy. We get through them in charge of these guys. Okay, now can we turn? Yeah, let's just ram them through. Have been routed. Ram them through. We don't want them to stall up all our javelins. One here. All right, they killed the general. Now we can move them back into action. Chase that. Chase that. These. They're all rotting. What about them? Okay, they're coming. Right, we're just trying to pick off the shorter range javelins over here. Our melee is probably not going to make it back. They're just a little far away. Oh, they're coming this route. Couldn't even find them. Not as much space as I would like, but. Three, charge with her. I think she's with the other units. I'm trying to get javelins to like line up somewhere. <laughs> Why did they? Why did you run that way? Just switch target to the other. I just oh, they're all routing. We win. Alright, now it's just like free fire time, experience time, right? Um, yeah, we gotta get everyone chasing somewhere. Enemy stronghold will soon fall to you.
One of your units has no more ammunition. Oh no, they ran out of ammo. Ah, uh, don't kill our own cavalry. Okay, we're killing a lot of our cavalry. No. Can we not hit them? All right. You guys are done. Let the cavalry get the experience. It took, like, we lost five men here from our own friendly fire. It's going to take a little while to recruit, but we pretty much want to milk as much experience as we can out of these fights. Alrighty. Alrighty, let's see. We lost a bunch of men, but a lot of food here just from the battle. And then we get to raise it, and then we also get the bonus for the war spoil. Um, I, I think this is just straight up better. I understand that every turn battle glory goes down by 30 now, apparently. So this isn't as great because you do suffer, you know, a loss of value. Here you get a very good sudden bonus and then you also get the 100% extra administrative efficiency for faster road decrees and we don't actually need more growth in this main army so I think we'll go with this this time I survive and thrive we get sapper okay destroyer okay and we get 30% movement back which isn't enough for we're going to encamp for sure, but we're going to find a spot to encamp. Sapper, destroyer, okay. Scale up. We got the boost ally. We can boost their charge or their missile parry ability with shield. Bloodthirsty for rage. I don't actually think we have a lot of ability that use rage. I want to cause fear. I believe only two abilities uses rage. The final one down here, which uses a hundred rage, and also terrify, which uses seventy-five rage. And of course, getting rage generation is good, but considering the fact that we won't be able to utilize it until a bit later, and the fact that most of our ability takes no rage, it makes me really want to just avoid it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of our ability don't use rage. So I think we're going to go get morale on our units or our hero, which isn't that great as well, but the fear is really good. Maybe we just save that up. Maybe we just go here real quick or charge speed. I'm going to go charge rather than defense. because I feel like ideally we want to be fighting ambush battles and this would be a great starter. Like activate this, activate this. We get... 30% charge speed, 50% charge bonus, 20% speed on top of that, and then 15% weapon damage, 30% weapon damage. So I feel like that's going to be the way to go. I want the Battle Glory for sure. But I think we'll sack it. We won't leave it alone. It's a settlement. We're not at war with them, which is a bit funny. Uh, but they own both of these pieces, so eventually we'll go to war with them. Hera. Let's see if that's useful for us. Cheaper building. Extra morale when defending. 10% replenishment rate. I don't know if I can afford these regularly right now, but that might be pretty good, actually. I guess we'll try to make a stop here. We'll come down here. This will give us gold. Feels like food is not going to be a plenty, but we have saved up quite a bit and each battle is going to give us food anyways. It's not the worst situation. I don't actually think we'll get anything now that no one owns the actual building, but we can come here and raid and get something. 
Although the army is so small, it's going to get so little. But there's no risk. Like, there's no... There's no risk to do this. Like, the reward is very little, but there's really no risk here. The question is, is she a... Uh, no, she is not a Homeric character, so she will die in battle. Okay, we're going here. Alright, anyone reach rank 4 yet? Forgot to check. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. This one's 3. This one needs rank 5. Cavalry. And then what can we upgrade Horsewoman to? That's a great question, actually. Ah, Hippomachio or Fury. Odds Fear. This one has super high damage. Very little charge. It's a heavy defensive cavalry. Like, it's tanky. Wait, do we? Maybe we want a tank, actually. 88 speed. 100 and. Oh, never mind. I want this. This is so fast. 1,800 food, 150 gold. The gold cost is a bit scary, but I think it's worth it. We cause fear. Yeah, it's pretty much for the fear. Bonus damage versus heroes? Oh, okay. I, I, we're going to get furies, pretty sure. Are we building something right now? We are not at... Well, we are five. We can build this. Yes. It'll take us one turn to finish, and then we'll have ourselves a spy, which will cost us more food, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. We need stone. We'll try to get some. Maybe through diplomacy, actually. We did sign the deal which will make all of their factions like us more, so... Why is it negative? Because that, that doesn't make any sense. We're so friendly and this is negative. I mean, of course, I think. I believe our peoples are stronger together. We can ask like for a loan. Like I think, oh, he has no, he has no stone. Let's say if we want a thousand, all right, he's, he's willing to give us a certain amount as a loan. Like, as a gift. But he has no stone, so that's off the table. It's fine. We don't need to beg. We can get our own stone. Uh, let's just continue. People keep wanting our gold. Big no-no. We have issued a royal decree. Wonderful. We have finished building a building. All buildings, I think, take only one turn, which is quite nice. Got 200 stone from that mission. And... Uh, coming to Royal Decrees again. I think we get the gold one first. I think just the passive resource first. Then we worry about anything else. They're coming here to claim this. I think they're going to colonize it. It's fine. It's not going to give us a new war spoil. It takes a long time to get war spoil to respawn. Battle hardened. I think we just go towards this. It will kind of force their hand to We're declare war on us. We also... Oh wait, hold on. I've got this. Right, because we were in, in camp, basically we can't really come here and uh, raid. So we're just going to move up. Moving up. No army police? Oh my god. Get ready to march. We're gonna say goodbye to those battle glories as we come down here. Minor settlement fights only, I guess. I really like you can still heal on march. That's a very nice effect. We can recruit a spy. 5% chance on agents action. That's quite good. This is what we want. 
we want this to be a enemy general killer because they have nerfed poison the well but they didn't change much to the assassination that will also hurt the army I might not want this. I actually might want just 5%. I think 5% might be better. Consider we might need this agent to do a lot of things for us. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just get this. 354 food per turn. A well but well worth it. Them. Also going to be very expensive uh, to use the actions as well. Oh, we actually don't need to do anything. Just stand here. I live for the fight. We're good to go. Let's um Let's continue. I think if we want to upgrade, I just want to know what happens if we want to upgrade the tent. It's still only one population cost. That's pretty nice actually. Okay, let's continue. Oh, they found our one general army. We can try to retreat away from them. Hopefully enough distance. Construct a altar. So we gotta build a temple. It's a mission. I mean, we don't have to build a temple. So we have a army here feasting for us. And we are gonna try to poison the well because I don't really want to spend the gold and also the percentage is rather low even though it's 55% because it's 50-50 and then we get 5% bonus. Uh, we can wound him but I really just want the army to be a little weaker at this point. 4% chance we become wounded. I just want to save the 6 gold let's be honest. Is he a... Is, he's a warlord isn't he? Not a chance. The hammer kind of makes me feel. Oh, he has giants. What? All honor to Nemesis. Sickness ends many ambitions. Failed. Okay. Hungry for glory. We're gonna fight giants. I'll have to refuse. Okay, we're gonna have to fight them anyways. Death finds us all. There's no excuse here. And plus, we need the battle glory, we need the food, we need to push ourselves away from this 10% upkeep cost. So. Yes, I will. To battle. Embrace your doom! We're gonna fight this, of course. Alright, dry day sounds good. like the ridge. Some half of their army is on the ridge, I believe, and half is over here. Am I, am I crazy to believe that is the case? I'm trying to play around the location to see if I can get vision on the rest of the army. Guess not. Uh, I'm gonna move all the range up here. Actually, we just want everyone up here. I don't need to climb up a hill without my army. Everyone, everyone can start out. Can't fit. Doom Fight me. Yes, I can. Okay. They're pulling back, which is okay. I'm still gonna set up here real quick. Actually, we don't need to be that wide. Moving up. 
we're gonna have to advance on them but perhaps we can take out this position first set up a defense here take this out start firing on the bottom units and then the question is how we're gonna kill those giants we need the giants to engage us somehow and then flank them and then javelin to them to death I, I think that's the only way Let's scout out ahead. Alright, we'll try to organize these in threes, because I think we were overcrowding our lines a bit last time. Actually, no, you get kicked out. You can join six. You can also join a special number. Where are their giants is my question. Are they hiding on here in the forest? Are they in the open plains? Any way I can glean some information would be really helpful. But I feel like I just want to favor this side now because giants could be in the forest. Get everyone moving. I, I'm really thinking there are giants up there. Or maybe in the forest, but like... This must be their front line, right? Like, they can't have units hidden here. Just gonna tease them. I'm gonna fully believe that we can draw them out of position here with our cavalry. I don't see any giants. I'm assuming they're up there. Oh ho ho. If you can unleash on them. Oh, I see giants right here. Alright, we're gonna show up here. I don't want them to hug the edge though. I only see... I see all three giants. Okay, so we're gonna take this area. I think we can definitely take it. We're gonna go here to absorb enemy range damage. The foe has sighted your hidden units. Getting engaged, getting engaged. Pull back, pull back. Why are they not firing? Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. Ah, uh, this is a mess. Actually, I, I want to turn skirmish mode on for all of them. Because it's better when we have this many to skirmish mode and then scatter, reset, and all, all that good stuff. Alright. Surround them. I'm gonna give them a boost. Alright, you're here to die. I wanna get rid of that units, to be honest.
Giants are coming. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Now we're destroying them. Your warriors are losing heart. The trick is they can only chase one. And when they don't chase you, you just hit them. And then they die. Take the fight over here against them. Might be a bad idea. I think it's better if we draw them back. Because we're trying to win over here. And the trick is we gotta win over here first. I don't know how we're gonna kill these giants, but we're gonna use the similar strategy of kiting and then cross firing. If they're gonna chase one and then they're gonna fail, we're gonna get back. How about trickery here? Your warriors are rallying. I'm gonna reorganize. Yes, absorb the ammo. It's fine. Uh, gotta try to kill these. Actually, we'll do deal with the giants later. Let's kill this one unit right here. We'll shred them. That unit's probably lost. Oh, the giant's routed. Make sure they don't come back. Go this way. Yeah, skirmish mode is useful sometimes. Don't underestimate that. The kiting ability is really nice. Victory right, one. Is close enough to taste. Two. Three. Now we counter push. Right, we might have to be a little bit less ambitious about where we're hitting. How are they not routing this group right here? Ooh, ooh, giant's hidden. Never mind, we'll wait till our ambushers are done with them. Come on, come on. Gotta kill the melee one first, we're gonna deal with the range. It'll be quick, it'll be quick work. There we go. Now we just overpower the enemy range with how many range we have. We'll take the hit. We'll take the hit, it's okay. Here, everyone move a little faster. We'll wipe them really quickly. Alright, now we're gonna try to wipe out him. Yes, you can wipe out generals with javelins quite easily, actually. Alright, I don't see any giant support, so I think you guys are doomed. Charge. Because the giants are chasing us here. He's losing morale, he's routing. That's right. You know what's up. Oh no, what happened to our cavalry? Did we... Oh, we didn't micro it. He got killed. That is very unfortunate. We have to rebuild that basically. We shred them. There we go. Now we shred him. Fire! Oh, 
Oh, we had to fight a giant. This might be a mistake, but let's try to overwhelm him. We might take a lot of loss. But we already kind of committed, so we might as well hard commit. And hopefully we can get him to break. Okay. Now we're going to show up. A lot of units are going to break. Giant's going to break. I think we did it. There we go. Um, not going to waste too much time chasing things, but I think we'll kill a few things. Because this is a battle in open field, I think. So they're still going to be on the map. We lost our cavalry. Uh, just too many things to micro. I mean, not excuse, but that's pretty much what happened. Had to babysit our range units. One of your units has no more ammunition. Oh, these range units are great. These javelins. 34 missile damage. Yeah, sure, the range sucks, but like the ammo is pretty healthy. I'm probably going to build out more range than I actually imagined. Get another volley off. All right. I think I have some good news. I don't think the cavalry's all wiped. I think they just routed off the edge of the map. Yeah, it's still alive. Yes. All right, we got some more food. We can let them live for more food or we can slaughter them for battle glory. I don't think replenishment is on the table. We didn't actually lose that many men. 71. Yeah, slaughter them. I survive and thrive. Seeking battle. Okay. Our way is yeah. the true way. We got chased away there. We're off now. Hi next to our master. The spoils are ours. The we have plenty of movement warrior. left. But I don't know if I want to actually chase. This is definitely tempting, but I think I don't want this in my main fighting army. I think I want my other armies to be training troops for me. And instead, I'm going to go for this. Fatigue reduction. I'll have to refuse. We should just chase them and finish them off, to be honest. We can use our javelin mainly just to finish them off. This is close. Oh, actually, this needs to be rank 5. That's right. Cut them down. I am very afraid to do this because this will just get wiped, so we will have to fight it again. Alright, this should be quick. Um, do I want it to be this wide? Not really. I'm gonna babysit this. You guys have a hard time of dying, don't you guys? Charge us. Oh, they're actually charging us. Oh, wow. Um, maybe a straight line might be even better. Try to take down some range. Can't climb up that for a flank, so we have to just like charge out here for a flank. Yeah, they're here to absorb that. That's their purpose. Oh, 
Your hero is under attack. I don't want to get hit by giants. We're going to chase that, this unit actually in particular, down. Alright, maybe we don't need to do this. We have so much range. That they could have just got wiped. Right, we do want experience on them, though. Your warriors are losing heart. Why are the giants? That's who we want to kill. Yeah, they don't need much help here. Yeah, we got it. Everyone gets a friend. Yeah, we're just trying to murder giants. Hades has claimed the enemy hero. Alright, they should be done. That's it, right? Yep, got the victory. Perfect. Wait, Chase, get some kills here, please. You're embarrassing yourself. Not doing much as a leader here. Wait till we get a horse, though. Yeah, didn't want to spend too much time chasing. Especially since our cavalry is out of commission. He has really long legs. Um... I don't think we need the extra food. I still think we want battle glory. On the march. Are we finally over? Yes, we are finally over the first threshold. We don't lose 10% uh, extra, you know, upkeep cost. We also get some extra morale, some extra campaign movement range for all armies. All armies. That means if you have multiple armies with high battle glory, then everyone moves super fast. Wow, that, if that stacks, that's insane. Anyhow, um, this is going to be the end of our episode. It went on a little bit long, but I think it was pretty fun. We had to fight quite a few battles. Uh, there's armies coming, uh, but I think we can handle it. We're probably just going to move back a little and encamp so that they can't all just reach us. Not a chance. And they're not that strong. As long as they don't turn on us with that army of 17 I remember seeing earlier, we should be okay. Our next target is them but we're gonna leave away from their city they're supplying us enough food per battle to keep us going so more fights are welcomed and we're gonna make our way south um, we only see these three settlements but i know there's a food one here which is pretty much our next target as we look to continue our campaign so hopefully you guys enjoy this one and see you guys next time bye Victory!